The Assured SAN Pro 5000 series provides a simplified and streamlined storage management experience that greatly improves operational efficiency for storage administrators. In addition to management through a command line interface and enterprise class standards based SMIS, the product features a world class industry leading web based user interface. Implemented 100% in JavaScript as a web based application, the user interface does not require any host side software to be installed other than a contemporary supported web browser. The experience is akin to a traditional desktop based application with instantaneous response as the user performs operations. By embracing and leveraging the built-in automation capabilities that are inherent in the product, the user interface provides a significant reduction in complexity and manual intervention which are frequently associated with managing storage. Now, let me show you a demonstration of the real pool automated pooling in action. This is how we initially configure storage and also how we add additional storage at a later time. You can see that all of my storage is unconfigured. By invoking the add storage wizard, we are guided through the steps to initially provision storage. The enclosures containing unconfigured storage are presented and we're able to select the ones we want to place into service. We can also set an option to allow thin provisioning. Once we verify the actions, the wizard will proceed to configure the storage. While this is happening, let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. The system autonomically incorporates groups of drives as RAID sets into two storage pools each associated with a controller. In this configuration, there are three different classes of drives, so they are arranged into an archive tier, a standard tier, a performance tier based on SSDs, and some spares. Once the auto pooling operation has completed, we are asked if we would like to provision some volumes. Describing the composition of the volumes is performed by simply entering information as you would in a spreadsheet. This allows us to create single, multiple, or sets of volumes in a single operation. Once the volumes have been created, we can inspect the resulting configuration by navigating to the storage system overview in the home topic. Here we see the pools that were created, their corresponding sizes and composition, we can also see the tiers of storage present in the pools and by hovering over each of them we can see the details. Now let's take a look at how we can visualize the results of the real tier capability that autonomically migrates hot data to the performance tier. This system has been running a random workload for some time and as a result the hot data has migrated. We can see that almost all of the IOs are being satisfied by the performance tier. We can also see that there's an impressive average IOs per second rate for this size of configuration. By navigating to the performance topic, we can look at various real-time and historical statistics relating to performance. We select a storage pool and ask for historical data. Statistical samples for many parameters are maintained in 15 minute intervals for a period of six months. For example, let's take a look at IOs per second. Here we can see that over the past few hours the overall IO rate for the system has increased by orders of magnitude because of the autonomic migration performed by the real tier software. Now Let's take a look at some of the features that make this user interface easy to use and very powerful. Navigation through the interface is accomplished by intuitive selection of task related topics with submenus. It's obvious where to go to perform management tasks. Context sensitive pull down and pop up menus provide single click access to management operations. The options within these menus adjust based on the type and number of items selected for the operation. 
For options that are not accessible, tooltips indicate the reason. Many of the management activities are directly accessible at all times through the title and status bars that are always present. To provide information at your fingertips, summary information is presented throughout the interface and when more detail is needed, simply hovering over the item will bring up an overlay panel with detailed information. Rather than just displaying data, the interface presents useful and valuable information that can be easily understood. Specific menus are provided for each type of data so you can perform associated operations. Managing large numbers of elements can often be extremely cumbersome and confusing. To address this, the interface uses a tabular paginated display with the ability to search, filter, and sort elements to allow you to quickly narrow down to those items of interest. The number of elements displayed within a page is easily adjustable, including the ability to see all elements at once. Searching for textual matches within a search control or selecting items from a filtering control will narrow down the set of elements that are being presented to those of interest. Simply selecting the title for a column of data will sort on that column. Operations are performed by single or multi-selection of the elements in a table and clicking on the desired operation from a menu. This causes a task-based dialog panel to appear with the options that are pertinent to that operation. More involved operations are simplified by wizard-based panels that guide the user through the various steps to perform a management task. If for any reason the user needs additional assistance, comprehensive help guidance is instantly available through the help button. You can see that the storage management console is different than previous tools to manage storage due to the simple interface and navigation, the rich and detailed information that is available and the tools to make repetitive tasks easier.